Hey guys, welcome, Men of War, Soul Squad 2, and we're playing on the World at War mod. We're playing a practice match today. Hansi on the British Commonwealth versus Nat Nat on the Germany side. And we're actually going to be checking out uh, Bazura's map here. I believe this is Airborne. Uh, fairly wide map, but I kind of like it. A lot of cover, uh, but a lot of shootouts though as well. And I think on this mod it could go pretty well. We'll see how it goes. Just a practice match, so upcoming tournament is uh, coming soon. Uh, and that's a 1v1 invite tournament. I'll have details in the uh, description as far as uh, you can check out the bracket and see uh, see how things uh, stack up. Looks like uh, Hansi's gone the Assault Squad. And uh match with Nat Nat's Assault Squad from Germany as well. Nice EM grenade launcher takes out two. Here comes a nasty grenade, possibly. He didn't throw it at the middle. Still takes out two though. So even trade there, even trade. Looks like Nat Nat does have a superior number of uh, firepower uh, spreading out though. And the assault squad leader just escapes with his life. There's no way he can shoot that far, can he? <laughs> I do like his outfit though. Let's take a look at the eastern flag. Looks like uh, Hansi does have it. Does have a two on one here and should go ahead and mop that up. On the western flag though, Nat Nat has that unopposed. So this is kind of where we see the, the lines have drawn. Looks like we do have another assault squad coming out for Hansi. Could be a nice grenade here. Nope, uh, Nat Nat able to avoid, but he does give up the cover here. One thing I have noticed in this, in this map is basically there's even cover right down the lines, but if you're able to take your opponent's cover, then it can be challenging because the uh, fallback covers quite a ways back. <laughs> AC rifle, or AC grenade does nothing. Wow, I don't know how this guy's still alive. May want to get his weapon out. And as soon as he does, he dies. Not capping though, Kenzie has uh, decided not to cap so far. Looks like he's trying to micro his uh, troops all around here. Even building bags, and this is, this is what Hansi does. Even though there's bags right here, Hansi's notorious for building bags. Bags on bags. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Early days, uh, score is 0 0, 230 in. We are spectating that net, so uh, we'll see a couple of different potential units from Germany. So, uh, one thing is they have the Hetzer at three points. A little bit different, they have the Wan Z. I don't really know what that is. Looks like it's a tank with six Panzer Shreks, that's interesting. Even the Flamingo here. Does have uh, flamethrowers on it, so potentially I could see some interesting buys at the three-minute mark, which is when our one-pointer specials come out. Looks like uh, there is a one-pointer buy, and it is the vet sniper. So going us uh, going the uh, typical route there. We'll see what Hansi counters with. Hasn't bought his one-pointer looks like yet. Just got another assault squad. Looks like we have a Luke as well coming on the field. That sniper is pretty far back, but it's still able to pick off troops. <laughs> this is Hansi right here, isn't it? So we'll see how he's going to counter the Luke's. His troops are getting eight up here. And as the uh, British Commonwealth, he does have a lot of options. Could go uh, Stewart or something like that. Looks like he's gone with the, um, this is the car officer squad. I don't remember what it's called, but it comes with, um, it looks like a bunch of riflemen and then one car officer here, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's like four, I think three or four star weapon skill, so he's pretty badass. Um, if you're actually able to get him like a real gun. So, uh, I think he comes with a lot of other shit too. Like he's just loaded down with gear, basically. So, uh, I think all those guys are three stars, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they're pretty good squad if you can use them wisely. 
But uh, I'm guessing he's going to have to counter that Lukes with something. Otherwise, yep. Ooh, could have been a nasty assault uh, EM grenade launcher right there. Just missed. Nice AT grenade there. STG44 in a good position. Plus a sniper. Yep, here comes that Stuart that I thought we were going to see. Pretty standard, I guess, to see with the British Commonwealth here. Remember, this is not UK, guys. This is British Commonwealth, so a little bit different, uh, a little bit different uh, nation per se. Uh, does have some similar units that we're used to, though. Oh wow, what a nice AP snipe on the uh, STG44. Sniper is doing well. Already has six kills. Six kills early days. I think uh, I think this uh, mod can definitely, um, or a map like this can be really good for Germany. Something so wide where the lot it's hard to attack all the flags at once, and Germany can slow the pace down. And that's really what Germany excels at. Nice. Oh, I thought he actually hit the Luke's. Didn't hit the Luke's though. Don't know what he's shooting at now. Just trying to knock this building down, I guess. But really, the sniper is just doing work though. He's actually got a great shooting lane right here. Um, can really shoot all these guys. I'm surprised he's shooting that far away, though, actually. Officer may go down. Yep, there goes the officer. Or car officer. Surprise hands he's uh, running his troops in here like this. These guys are just getting just getting ate up here. They're just easy pickings for that uh that sniper there. He may want to he may want to come up with some some different plan here. Yeah, may need to have some different plan here for that Stuart. Maybe uh bait him with something, maybe uh like a like an AT gun, like a light AT gun or something. Maybe have that AT gun over here. Stuart here. Uh, looks like the Jay's out on the field though. Yeah, he built bags, but it just <laughs> they all died by the time they built them um, Unfortunately, Stuart's gonna have to back away Probably gonna have to go in this area here and then from there he could 50-50 um, if need be Oh, here's what I thought six pounder. I was thinking Hansi would bring the six pounder down this way though somewhere around this area because he really doesn't have a lot of inventory down this way. And actually could... Uh, Nana has a ton of inventory. Could easily actually inf start infesting this way. I'm um, surprised he hasn't sent a few guys up that way. Just to see what's up there. See if that six-pounder does get a shot off here. He is in the right control. Looks like he just missed. I'm not sure where that shot went. There's a nice one. Nice hit. Crew injured again. Still driving though. Still driving. And he's probably out of range now. Yep. So, uh, fortunately, that six pounder didn't really do what it should have been able to. Pretty cool uh, flame effects there. Once the shell kind of hits the uh, hits a tank. I don't really see any damage on it, but I guess it was just crew injured. So, looks like the steward did exactly what I thought it was gonna do. Come over here. Uh, probably still needs to um, have a little bit more uh, line of sight here. Only has one guy here and one guy here. But uh, Stuart's in a good sh good shape here. Just hang around this area. Should be able to protect the middle. Ooh, MG's in. It's a great spot for an MG. It's, unfortunately, it's getting shot by the 20 mil and it's getting shot by the sniper. It's only a matter of time before this guy dies. Sometimes it looks weird when you have the, uh, whoa, that was a nasty shot. I don't think he meant to kill that guy, but he did. <laughs> so the Jay's firing. Wonder where the six pounder's at. Wonder why the six pounder, here we go. Here comes the shot. Nope. Apparently it doesn't have a good angle on it. Wonder if this hill's, this hill's probably messing things up. It's going to bring it down here. Oh, just missed. 
Oh, what? Oh, that was a nice snapshot. Wow, that was pretty dirty right there. Wow, so there goes a six pounder. It's like we just have some tank crew for some vision that he just hasn't. Uh, probably, uh, probably the lag just he wasn't able to uh, to get that out. Stewart still can be in a good position as long as Stewart stays still around here. I don't see an issue. He's not gonna be able to bring up that Luke. Should still be able to hold the middle. I'm thinking Nat Nat probably still can push in though. He's got enough infantry and he's got a sniper. Hansy trying to do uh, just just trying to shoot. Uh, <laughs> he's just trying to AP snipe all these guys. Ooh, that was a really bad shot. Although he had a he had a good angle. I'm surprised he just doesn't keep it right here. Take a lot of shots to go through this house right here. It's double wall house here. Looks like Nat Nat is moving in a little bit. Is moving a sniper up at least. Sniper has 16 kills. Wow, a sniper can rack is going to rack up a ton of kills this game. That's just a problem when you face Germany. I'm surprised Nat Nat went Germany since we're doing a practice here. But really, I guess you got to practice with all the nations because all the nations do have some new stuff. So, um, while it's Germany, you may still want to rely on your sniper and your Brandenburg. You never know. You may want to um, try out a vehicle early game or something like that. Even a head throw at three points. I think it gives Germany a little bit more flexibility here um, with that three point uh, head throw by. Uh, they don't have to rely on on necessarily Brandon. Ooh, sorry guys, I'm not uh, paying attention. Stuart backs away behind this hill, should be safe. Fortunately though, it's gonna leave this middle wide open. There's really no nothing guarding it right now. I'm guessing uh, Nat Nat is, what the hell was that? I'm guessing Nat, oh, that was a Salt Squad leader, that's what it was, yep. He and Grenade Launcher right over the house. Potentially could uh, turret it, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's really highly unlikely. Um, I was going to say, I'm thinking uh, Nat Nat's pretty CP cap. That's why he's not pushing a lot of troops up. Probably because he has too many guys over here. Doesn't doesn't really need that many guys over that way. Um, oh, what do we got now? What is this? I want to tell me what it is. Is this the uh, Grizzly tank? Is that what it is? I don't know. It won't tell me what it is, but... M3. Yeah, I think this is what's called the Grizzly tank. I think it's... uh. I think it's a special buy, if I'm not mistaken. Don't remember offhand. That uh, Stuart did get damaged. Sorry, guys, missed that. Does take out the J, though. Good shooting here. Oh, wow. Here's the three point or buy from he the Hetzer buy. So this will be interesting to see how this goes. Hetzer's one of those tanks where it's like really good tank as long as you don't get tracked. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what Hansy's going for. He's going for the track. I think you're gonna find that. Oh wow, his side was turned right there. What the hell, did he just shoot his own tank? <laughs> he accidentally shot his own, own tank here. He's trying to kill the steward. Yeah, so this Hetzer, this is actually is, I don't know if this is a great buy right now because Facing two tanks, the Hetzer is not very good at, because it has to turn to shoot one, right? Facing one tank, it's great at, because frontally armor, the frontal armor on this thing is is pretty nasty, and it's really low to the ground, and it's got a nice slope to it. Well, it's got a decent slope to it, so. Looks like it's really uh, ooh, nice shot there. Just missed though. Really slowed down, only 30-0. I don't know who's messaging me. Sorry, guys. What the crap's going on here? <clears throat> well, yeah, so I was thinking, it's a pretty wide map. It's going to slow down. I think we're going to see a lot of, a lot more slower games than World at War. I think Strat may even uh, nerf the 20 mils, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's for sure. Uh, but I think you're going to see inventory is going to survive a little bit more, which when any time inventory survives more, uh, essentially you're going to see a little bit slower shootouts. Um, also, some of the, the units have been um, 
I guess push in a way where I think we're gonna see more more uh, more AT guns, more artillery type units, more mortars, stuff like that. Just slower gameplay. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing by any means, but I think you're gonna find that um, in a way, I think macro is gonna be a little bit more important in this tournament than it ever has been um, in AS2 for that matter. Um, as we can see right now, I mean, there's literally no m units moving on the field. Looks like we do have a sneaky AT infantry here. So I think that could be good because I think you're going to find that. Here he comes. Oh, nice. Nice through the forest here. Nice shot on that M3. And it is completely down. So the M3 Stuart is completely down, which means that Hedzer definitely can fight this, um, I think that's the grizzly tank. I'm not sure, guys. Sorry. We'll just call it um, whatever it is. I mean, it's basically a Sherman with with more armor, I think, on it. Yeah, more armor on the front um, is basically what it is. What the fuck? So, Hansi has gone artillery. Speaking of that, I mean, like I said, it's a practice game. So, I think sometimes some of these guys are, are trying to figure out what, what some of these weapons are going to do. And... Um, you know what what vehicles work and what what things work with different nations part of the thing about the tournament is it's going to be a a use it lose it style tournament uh essentially if you play a nation you can't just immediately play it the next game uh, same thing with the map as well so we'll see how that goes he i think he said it after the first round it resets i'm not sure why because i think we're just going to see that the first games are just going to be the basic nations playing each other so Interesting. Uh, Hetzer is getting is using this J for cover. I like that. I like that a lot. There's one cool thing about the Hetzer. Uh, it's got this 360 degree uh, internally uh, controlled MG, which is pretty badass for the time. Uh, Germany definitely had some pretty technologically advanced uh, shit. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Yep. Nice shot. Lower Glacia Glacius. Glacius was, uh, yeah, however you want to say that. It's pretty wide open. Nice angle to shoot that tank. And it's frontally. It's completely frontally, too. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how artillery works. Uh, not that has his troops spaced out really well, so. I'm thinking artillery is probably, I, I think, I think we're getting, uh, you know. I think we're trying to see our Charlie try and be decent, but I think we'll we'll learn that or not learn, but I think we'll we'll know that our Charlie still really doesn't have much place in one one v one. Wow, nice shot though by the uh, what the fuck is this? A staghound. Jeez. So it's basically like a Daimler, it looks like, but it does have a 57 millimeter on it. That's pretty badass. It actually has pretty good armor on it too. I'm looking at the armor stats. 51 armor at its at its most. I wonder if that's frontally looks like Azuka is uh is uh lagging. So we're gonna kick him immediately. <laughs> that felt good. Uh yeah. Uh huh. Interesting vehicle though. So uh yeah, pretty stagnant. Um. CP wise, I don't think either either team can uh, attack another point. So one thing is, once you start buying more units and you're not just relying on inventory, your CP really gets hogged up with the Hetzer. And actually, I say that, and he does have a squad coming here, but it really just it's going to take more than one squad just with the number of guys that are spread out here. Um, and it looks like uh, Hansi's got a sniper as, as his own here. Probably not the best spot for a sniper, but. He's probably waiting to spot where that vet sniper is. The problem with the vet sniper is the vet sniper is going to have the advantage. The vet sniper's way back there. Oh, he may try and kid him with the artillery, though. Actually, the artillery didn't do too bad there. Wow, the vet sniper is running way out of there. He really doesn't want that, uh... He, vet sniper going out. I don't blame him. 35 kills with that one sniper. Interesting. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was interesting. I feel like Kanzi direct controlled that, but I don't know why I would direct control on just one random guy. 
Unless maybe he thought that was a sniper, but definitely wasn't. Oh wow, this guy's getting targeted. Oh, just got shot, or just hit this rock right here and saved his life. It's actually a great spot for the in grenade launcher. Not a great spot for these old chaps here. But a great spot for him. Well, until he dies right now. Yep, okay. <laughs> so, it was a good spot. <laughs> Where'd, uh, where did Hansi's sniper go? Oh, he's still over here. Is he in the trees? No, he's just kind of on the hill here. All right, guys, we'll pull the uh, the red highlight back on. <laughs> yeah, I've been noticing that. Uh, or I was telling Strat the other day, I was like, dude, you haven't been playing with your uh, basically your uh, squad icons for like the last like couple weeks. I don't know. It, you know, we turned this off just to get like. You know, I guess images or, or you know, screenshots, but it can be hard to play it without uh without having it on. Twenty minutes in, it's twenty nine to one. Shockingly, Nat Nat only has a score of one, which is kind of weird because I feel like he's held the middle for longer than I thought. He's definitely should be winning on score, I would think. Not by much. Definitely not by much. Looks like we have a, a verbal win. That's an interesting buy. It's a really interesting buy there. I guess one thing we're noticing in the world at Warmod, and, and maybe it's just because it's practice, right? We're noticing a lot more different units being bought. But like I said, maybe it's just practice. Uh, I think it's it makes sense to practice with different things, see what works, because just going out there and, and like I said, with different units being able to be bought, uh, you may have a, you may develop a better strategy. Don't know why we have some of these Jag Panthers and Elephants in here. Oh, I guess this is, you know, for a team game, I guess. Or maybe even high resources. Strat does have a, a function where you can go high res resources, which puts it up to 4,000 MP. Wow. Hansi, actually, the artillery's not doing too bad. Um. Oh, my God. That's so unfortunate because artillery... Never mind. A <laughs> second shell got him. It's funny because that one shell landed right there and didn't kill him. He's sitting right there, and then the second shell landed somewhere around here and killed him. Whoa, he's far shooting through this through this hail or this this um, haystack right here. Oh wow! <laughs> Return the favor by the Hetzer. Ooh. <laughs> That looks like that. Uh, excuse me, guys. Wow. 23 minutes. Uh, Nat Nat's going to push in here. And uh, should be able to hold this point. There's really not a whole lot there aside from that artillery barrage. What the crap? We've got a church show coming out. Interesting. Wow, that MG's back there pretty far. It still has range to shoot down the middle. Probably doesn't have range to shoot these guys, but does have range to shoot right in here. So that Churchill, uh, yeah, that Hetzer's not going to be able to counter that Churchill. Definitely not with AP round anyways. Maybe it'll shoot HE at it, but I doubt it. Trying to back that Warble went off. Another miss. You see this fight every day, Churchill versus Hetzer. What? <laughs> wow, that Hetzer is good. Yeah, I really think you gotta you gotta use multiple vehicles. And he had it when he had the steward over here, but fortunately he lost the steward though. And really you should be trying to track that. The problem is now is that he's got the Werble one as support though. And that Werble one with the 40 mils, you can't just What's with CP? I don't know what he means with CP. 
Uh, he's got a head turn, a whirlwind, and infantry. He's not gonna have any CP. That's just the bottom line. Uh, the Hetzer is. Oh, sorry. The Hetzer is 23 CP. The Werble win is. Let's see here. Werble win is 13, so that's 36. Plus, he has one squad. Roughly about. Roughly about three squads. So that's about 60. So yeah, 36 plus 60. He's at about 97. Yeah, that's exactly what he has. So yeah, I don't know. That's that's the problem on these super wide maps. Is it's really hard to uh, to um, <clears throat> especially as Germany, you always seem to not have enough troops and not enough CP. But uh, I'm surprised he's going this way. That's an interesting way to go. Oh, what he's trying to do is trying to get on this cover here. Yeah. Oh, nice shot by the sniper there. Oh, interesting. Wow. Looks like Nat Nat pinged it for his own his own. He pinged it for himself, essentially. Yep, and the whirlwind's Whoa! Nice shot. Churchill's back up just in time too. For that world one, looks like we do have a, a Orlicon coming down. He's gonna put it down in the river, see if he can repair it in here. Actually, really smart. So and that, that's, uh, CP has definitely been cleared up a little bit. He's gone with paratroopers. Look at his bang. He's at at 1,300 MP. It's one thing, I guess, in the world at War Mode. We're definitely going to see uh, people uh, have the ability to choose really expensive units if they so choose, as opposed to just spamming inventory the whole game, which I'm not saying that's bad. I, you know, I kind of kind of think this game's a little too slow. I'm not going to lie. A little too slow. Uh, 27 minutes in, and... It's only 31-21. Close game, though. Close game. But I kind of do like the action when we see uh, all three flags being contested, whereas kind of just on one flag. And I've noticed that on some games with this mod. I don't know if it's just a mod or just people are just trying new things. It may just be a combination of people trying new things, honestly. This position of the Orlicon is actually great, though. Hansi really has a really good macro sense to him. This position is just fantastic. He can shoot down on the middle flag. And you can quickly turn and reinforce this flag easily. This hill is great. Uh, nice shot by the Hetzer. Try to get it. And so Hansi is pushing that Orlicon out. Not sure what he's shooting, uh, what he's trying to hit with the uh, artillery. Maybe he's trying to track the... Uh... Yeah, I don't really know what he's trying to shoot with the artillery. Maybe he... Not, yeah, I'm just not sure. Because he keeps aiming, it seems like, at the head search. Maybe he's trying to track the head search. Not really sure. Not sure about that one. Wow. Yeah, so the, the Churchill, uh, what is this, a Mach? Mach? Mark 8? Mark, Mark 4, sorry. Uh, even though it's got a really strong body, it's turrets. It's still, still questionable. This has a pretty good gun on it. Pack 39, 75mm. I'm sure it has... Uh, I can't see the penetration on it, but I'm sure it has d good penetration, though. <clears throat> yeah, the frontal armor on this is pretty good. The side is... That's where you gotta track it. You track it, and then you can hit it from the side pretty easily. Um, even from range. Uh, and you gotta watch it because it likes to turn even to shoot the MG. Even though the MG does do a 360, it still likes to turn though. So you gotta be careful about it. Um, it's one thing I've noticed. Oh, now it's tracked. 
From what? Where was it tracked from? Huh. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, guys. It's tracked by the AT infantry right here. He just snuck that up and uh, tracked it. One shot, second shot, finished it off. Well played, well played. Looks like the Werewolf one's back up, though. So if that Churchill can get repaired, uh, should be able to take this Werewolf out, no problem. Really, where is all the infantry for Nat Nat? I know we had some guys on that uh, Western flag, but uh, or sorry, Eastern flag, but still should probably move some guys over here. He's got a couple spare ones here. Definitely don't need, you know, three guys on that wall right there. Oh, he's going with something here. What? <laughs> wow, so he saved up for the uh, Vet Panther, it looks like. Wow, that's awesome. That's one, one thing you definitely don't see in the, uh, really ever, unless you're playing, uh, you know, pub guys that for some reason buy a panther and don't buy the tiger. But, yeah, this is a veteran panther, though. So, uh, interesting. I don't know if it's really needed, though, per se. I guess he does want to fight the, uh, the Churchill. So, uh... Surprised Kansi can afford all this. He's got a sniper, he's got a Churchill, he's got an Orlicon, and he's got artillery, and he's got infantry. I'm surprised he can actually afford it. Speaking of CP. Seems like a lot, actually. This Panther's in a great position, though. Artillery really hasn't killed a whole lot. It's killed maybe maybe two squads worth. Wow, and Hansi does have a couple AT infantry too, so maybe uh, I'm thinking British Commonwealth definitely is one of the best nations in this game, or in this mod, I should say. I think there's a little creator bias, no offense. Uh, I'm surprised he can afford all that um, from a CP standpoint. It'd be interesting to say, you know, if if uh, maybe we should increase the CP to like 110 or something, you know? I mean. I don't know. That'd be my thought. That way, if you wanted to, you could still try and attack three flags. You didn't have to, but if you wanted to, you could. It's really, once you start buying these big units, it's one thing we don't see these units in 1v1 much because, mainly because we can't afford them usually because it's a lot more spammy. And it doesn't slow down like this, so you don't usually get the big bank. But then, not only from that, it's just from a CP standpoint, especially on a map like this. This map's huge. So maybe just the map though, maybe that's what maybe maybe that's just the, the issue here. Interesting. Not not one with a regular sniper, so his vet's oh his vet sniper died, that's right. And remember you guys can't what the crap? Dead crew there. Oh, wow, all the armor side plating is falling off here. Hey, bleib stehen. That was a nice shot. Huh, how did he shoot the artillery there and then all, all, all of a sudden shoot it over here? Maybe that artillery has a different way of uh, firing. Yes, sir. Huh. I wonder what came on this flag here. That's pretty interesting. Not sure. And he's doing his best here to try and push on this flag. Uh, I guess with the sniper support, he could definitely get it with only a, a couple guys. Oh, it's dangerous to turn your side like that with that panther. Look at where the panther's going. There's not a whole lot of support over here. I guess he's trying to shoot the church. I don't really know if you need to, though, really. Maybe he's trying to shoot the actual Orlicon, actually. It's probably a more important target, honestly. No, he's trying to side shot that uh, Churchill. I'm surprised he just doesn't walk a guy right in. There's only one guy holding it. Huh, surprised he's not ca- Oh, that's Volkstrom. I was gonna say, I'm surprised he's not capping. He's closer to the flag. 
Yeah, two Volstrom will, will overcap uh, one SMG. Until this guy dies, so once he dies, then this cat will start going back to Hansi. <laughs> well, let's make sure we don't crash here. That's a weird, that's a bad shot. Is he shooting a smoke shell? Oh, Hansi's firing smoke. He doesn't realize he's firing smoke now. <laughs> he ran out of actual regular shells. <laughs> so he's gonna fire smoke all the way around. It's actually gonna help uh, help Nat Nat actually, I guess, with the smoke. I guess, in a way, or maybe actually not hurt him or help him because now he can't see his troops. <laughs> all the while, wow, Hansi's done a great job though to decap the uh, the uh, Western flag. Like I said, that sniper. That's all I needed was that sniper. He could pick off some guys here. Could see a duel right here. Could see a sniper duel right here. Yep, here we go. Oh, nice! I wonder if Hansi did that on uh, by himself or the AI did that. Wow. Just took out the sniper, though. Oh, that's funny. Two guys are dead right in the same spot. Same position. Don't think he realized he was firing smoke. Sniper's in danger here. There he goes. Orlikon's in danger now, too. Sixty-three, twenty-one, thirty-five minutes in. Ah, uh, yeah. Two v twos in the tournament were uh, extremely long, and gotta be honest. Uh, sometimes forty, fifty minute one v ones are pretty cool, but I feel like we may, we may see this a lot in this tournament. Maybe that's good. I don't know. But uh, it can be tough to cast, though. Also, with this game's stability, I mean, everyone knows this game is not very stable, to be honest with you. So, you know, it just is probably going to lead to a lot more crashing. Looking at Nat Nat's trips, he really only has... I mean, we look at him, he's got... You know... Less than 16 guys on the field, like, literally, as far as inventory is concerned. Um... But then again, Hansi doesn't have many troops at all. Hansi has, like, no troops either. It's kind of funny how that works. Looks like Luke's is coming over here. Should take this point at back. No problem. Cro uh, Churchill's going to come down. Actually, actually, a stack hound. Another stack hound is coming out. Stack hound actually has surprisingly good armor. Should be able to stand up to this 20 mil. I've never used it, but... Oh, wow. He just one-shots it right because it's got the 50... It's got the six-pounder gun on it, so it's a pretty nasty gun here. Ooh, may get a... Never mind. I was guess I thought that I thought that I thought it was side turn from when I was looking at it. it just it was just kind of weird how it looked. Wow, it's still driving though. <laughs> Smoke still still filling that area up. Surprised that uh, Ansi could. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say Nat Nat, but he doesn't actually have any AT grenades. Could just run a guy up and just grenade this. Oh, Panther, Vet Panther, Churchill, wow, there it goes. Sixty-three twenty-one. Nat Nat's uh, MP situation is, is not very good. Uh, he's definitely used all of his MP um, on inventory. Still has this Panther up, though, so as long as he keeps that, uh, in good stead. He is three capping right now. Could be game. Could be uh, could be GG here in a few minutes. Uh, Hansi's going to go ahead and throw an assault squad on one flag. And he's going with the uh, Bren carrier on the other. Don't know really why. He's getting infested right here, it looks like. With an MG here. Oh, he took out the MG. He almost took out the Bren carrier too. Here goes the AC grenade. Yep, there goes that. Uh, maybe that, uh, I don't think that artillery is a good buy. But, yeah, like I said, uh, we're just practicing and seeing what works in this mod. He's going to stop the 3-cap. That's what he needs. Oh, that Warble one's back up. I did not realize that Warble one was going to be back up. That could be definitely a game, game changer there, though. Oh, 
Yep, Hansi really doesn't have a whole lot on the field, honestly. Almost nothing on the field, really. What? Oh, the P.I. got it. Nice P.I. right here. Surprised that P.I. wasn't spotted. Just trying to kill it here. Maybe he should just run up and dynamite it. I think that's what he's going to do. Nope. Nope. No dynamite. May want to take... Oh, that was another Warble one. I'm sorry. So two Warble ones. That's quite expensive. Huh. <laughs> These Warble ones have some funny armor. Comes the AT grenade. And, uh. Out of commission now, for sure. So is that AT infantry as well. The hell is that? Why is he bringing a heavy MG up to the middle? Seems... Seems weird. I don't think he meant for it to go that far. Maybe he's just dicking around now. What? I don't know what he's doing now. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not a Hansi style. Just throw an MG randomly up the middle. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's not buying anything. So I don't know what he's saving for, per se. Take a look at these ammo carriers here. Apparently these guys have stealth on them. That's what I've been told. Pretty sure. So, uh, could use them. I don't know what he's trying to do now. Huh, I don't know why he's bought an ammo truck. <laughs> he said you must be asleep. <laughs> well, yeah, it's uh, been a very, uh, very slow game. I don't really know what Hansi's doing right now. Maybe he gave up. He's bringing a squad. Interesting to know what his MP's like. Nat Nat's MP's pretty much out right now. But I don't know about specials though. Not that may have, or sorry, Hansi may have some specials. Don't know what this truck's doing, really. Really confused with what this truck is doing here. Huh. I don't know what not not or sorry, God, I keep getting these guys confused. I don't know what Hansi's doing. This doesn't this doesn't seem like him. To run an MG right up the middle and just get shot and then to just run a squad up there for no reason. Okay, now he's just fucking around. I can definitely tell he threw the spear at the truck. <laughs> So that's what uh, Nat I was doing. He's just trying to get his truck to run this thing over. He's not going to be able to do it, though, until this is uh, decap or decrewed. So apparently he just gave him an ammo truck. <laughs> Why is this guy speaking French? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, or sorry, he's speaking Finnish. Sorry, that's the finish, guys. Uh, wow, he just speared the fuck out of him. Did you guys see that? He just threw a spear and killed him. That was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I say if it's GG, let's just call it GG, guys. Uh, <laughs> and uh, on that note, I am going to... Uh, huh. I wonder if I should end the cast because... I just don't know what his MP situation is like. And he doesn't look like he's buying anything. Hmm... And he's buying, what the fuck is he buying now? Why is he buying more ammo carriers? Yes, sir. What the crap? Got it, sir. Okay, maybe Nat Nat doesn't think that this game's over, but he's 
threw the spear at the panther. I don't know why. All right, guys. Well, there goes the panther. I'm not really sure what's going on, honestly. Um, I guess this is what happens when you get in a practice game. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can end. Uh, it's GG. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll play uh, Nat Nat. Looks like he's going to take the win. I'm surprised that uh, Hansy just gave up. Maybe, I guess he's just out of MP. Uh, so, uh, that is it, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll be back with another lore cast and practice match soon. Take a look at the uh, tournament and let me know uh, your thoughts on it and uh, any improvements we can make before we start. Uh, and we are looking forward to uh, seeing you play in the tournament. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.